Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to connect your Verizon Fios extender. If you find this video helpful, please consider to like this video and subscribe to my channel. In saying that, let's just jump straight into the video. Alright, so in doing this, you've got two main options. One using a wide Ethernet connection, which is recommended, or a wireless connection. So for option one, a wired connection, which is recommended for best performance, you need to place the extender near a Ethernet outlet, ideally somewhere between your router and the area with weak SNCC signal. And then you want to connect the extender to your router, so using one of the following. So you can use a coaxial cable if you're using MOCA, most Fios setups support this, or an Ethernet cable directly to your router, your Fios router. And these are the outlets back here where you connect it from your Ethernet cable and your coaxial cable is here. Then you want to plug in your extender's power cord and turn it on. And then from there, just wait for it to automatically sync with your main Fios router. This can take up to a few minutes, so just be patient on this step. Once connected, the LED light will turn solid white on most models. And now we got option two, which is a wireless connection. No cables are needed but we still need to put the power on. So plug in the power and turn the extended on. Wait for the LED to start blinking blue. That means it's searching for a connection. So on most models, the LED light is around here at the front of your extender. And then on the back of your box here, you've got a WPS button. So go ahead and press on that. Within two minutes, the, press the WPS button on the extender. Wait for the lights to turn solid white, indicating a successful connection. And some additional tips, your devices will automatically connect to the extender or router based on signal strength since they share the same SSID and password. You can also use MyFios app or go to myfiosgateway.com to manage and monitor your network.